Judging by recent news reports from the Register and from a couple of sources coming out of Microsoft in Germany last week, it looks like ChatGPT is going to get its big brother sooner than we were expecting. GPT-4 is looking like it's most likely going to launch at some point this week here, and it has big ramifications for us if we are going to get what we expect, which is a multimodal version of GPT. Now, what will that mean? Let's dig into it. GPT-4 being multimodal has a bunch of different reasons why it's exciting. Firstly, if it's multimodal on the input sense, this really is going to be quite interesting in terms of the content that we can feed into this large language model and see what it'd be able to put back for us. Up until now, ChatGPT, which is the front end of the GPT 3.5 interface, has mostly been powered by large collections of data from library sources, links on the open web and Reddit, and there are a number of different catalogs of those that power the large language model that it's been trained on. But ChatGPT is only a large language model based upon the input of those original sources. If GPT-4 is going to actually be a language model powered by other types of imagery and video sources, therefore being multimodal, then that opens up a whole bunch of other opportunities. For example, being able to feed in a bunch of images and it be able to read the text in those images and glean meaning from them. Or being able to run whole video clips, for example, the entire length of movies or documentaries, and be able to pull out meaning from those as well, combined with images and text inputs. This means that up until now, when these models have been trained mostly on the written web, we can begin to start seeing the whole plethora of knowledge that's held up in things like podcasts, YouTube videos, and the rest of the content that lives across the internet, and start training these models on this. So multimodal inputs is going to be really huge, and particularly if we can start feeding our own choice models into this to train it. For example, take your whole podcast back catalogue, or everything you've ever made on your YouTube channel, and feed it to a model to train a bot to speak like you. Well, that's great source input that otherwise would have had to come from written text. Now, what about multimodal on the output side? What if this new language model is actually able to output not just text, but also video and images using some of the avatar technology or the imagery creation from DALI, the other open AI models? If that's what we're going to see, then this opens up a whole new gambit of tools that could be created through the APIs that open AI have already provided for us. So let me know what you think. What are you more excited about? The idea of being able to train these models with multimodal inputs or getting multimodal inputs out of them? Let me know in the comments below.